yeah, she was quite a harsh critic, you know, Amy. You know, she was very. Sometimes we get together to write songs, and she say, "Come on, then, play us what you got." I don't know, like that particular chord progression. I'm like, yeah, listen to this. She be like, not really good in the pit. Mm -hmm. But um, so I was determined to use that particular chord progression. You know? uh, she was a very good guitarist, actually. Mm -hmm. Very into sort of really complicated jazz chords and mm -hmm. you know, fingers up here and down there and all over the place. And not a lot of people realise that. You know? um, yeah, when I first start, I'm actually clean uh, on a very small uh, maintenance I'm done right now. Mm. But when I wrote the song, mm. and the first few times I played it, mm. it was very, uh, yeah, it was almost impossible actually to get the words out because it was so, I really felt it was a perfect expression of that, that state. Mm. The strange contradiction between wanting to go and bear your soul Mm. And then I also put it in a catchy melodic form. Mm. Oh, let's have it right when we all know the score. You've been up for three nights, you stuck behind your door. Get together sometimes to yeah we we'll get together and make some music and we never really never really did no not, not properly yeah yeah it's always maybe. about the nature of your relationship perhaps is... yeah and also that'll haunt me to my dying day the fact that you know she was a little girl and she didn't know it really I, I had to stay away from her in the end you know mm -hmm. Because she was like me, she wanted more of everything. And mm -hmm. also, you've got to remember, she was like hugely successful, mm -hmm. number one in America, number one in England, million mm -hmm. times smashed it. You know, like MTV awards, like Grammys. Originally, she was part of a generation that went to a government subsidied performance college. You know, there was a generation of kids who were spotted at an early age as being great dancers or great singers, you know, in the London area, and they were like, you know, his parents were behind them. And, and out of them, a few of them just went whoosh like that. And not only did they have a natural gift, they, had, they could create, you know, so originally she was from this world of, like, she was from the stage, you know, she was a born performer. She could sing, she could dance, she could play guitar. That was her, where she was from. I mean, oh, not that it was political, but it was a representative of a certain part of our society, you know, young, vibrant talent.